Hey guys, Tiger here bringing you a one of you on today. We are on Crossroads. Playing today spawning in the south, we have Manstein. Playing as OKW, straight away going for fortifications. Facing off in some in the north, we have the Gentleman Wake. Playing as Brits. Straight away locking into tactical support. In terms of rankings here, this is a Patreon backers submitted game. Manstein around rank 700. Gentleman Wake around rank 350 as Brits. So a uh, raid section start for the Gentleman Wake. We did see the other day Suora go for this kind of build, but with a Universal Carrier instead of the Vickers, which you know I do think is the way to go, generally. I do really uh, rate the Universal Carrier highly. So as part of these kind of builds where you, know, you have to wait for a troop to come off cooldown before they're ready to come through, such as raid section or the uh, recovery sappers. I think the universe carry first makes a lot of sense, and in this case, would, would work out quite nicely against the Kuwagon as well. But Vic is also a pretty decent option against OKW. I guess all serious, a little bit riskier, they could go for the early sniper. So okay, they don't really have that option, and it can blast the Kuwagon as well as it comes into range. So the sandbags on the cutoff did backfire a little bit for the Gentleman Wake. Try to close the distance. Don't have the Molotovs yet, require platoon command for that. Uh, the raid sections, a very fire. similar performance to Rifemen. Do very well against the Fox Traders and close like that, so do we end up overpowering. Enemy causing trouble. Try to out the back, Manstein doing some decapping. So didn't run into the Vickers, just going out the back and decapping a whole bunch of territory, which I think is a fair decision. This is a good time maybe for the folks you just throw out in a senior grade. There we go, just comes online now. Completed the truck. It allows them to win against the squad, but we do have yet another squad coming through for the gentleman wake, so really overwhelming on this left hand side. Man, so I'm not really committing too much. Switching a little bit more across to the right instead. The platoon command post is finished and ready for use. That point up there, not connected at the moment, but maybe the stern pyres are going to remedy that now. MG just camped out on the fuel, but I mean, it's probably okay for the Vickers to do something like that in the early game. A command post vehicle promotion. I can see action so far though. And Manstein actually coming back on to the left hand side again with the double fox screen is with the cool wagon. Looking to overwhelm the gentleman wait. Trying to take a point from us. Do have platoon command up now. A lot of troops for the gentleman wake. Does slow down the medics somewhat. Interesting to see if he goes for medics now or just goes for the medic upgrade on the one squad of regular infantry sections. And uh, what happened to the machine gun? Looks like that maybe got flanked by the Sturm Pioneers. Got forced away as well. Is there going to be medics in the build? Fair choice. Battle group coming up. Going for healing first, so it's not going to be a super fast flak half track or anything like that from Manstein. We'll give plenty of time for these ray sections to assert their dominance through this phase. Also, we'll delay the STG upgrade on the Fox Commanders, so. Gentleman Wake should be able to fight back very effectively. Ooh, and the Vickers, see how much damage it did. Mounted the Kubwag and they didn't have much time to react. Here we go. Molotov out. Send your grenade back the other way. The squad's here. Already so low, I think that's a good choice to retreat there. 
could be an idea as well just to retreat this infantry section since they're so low. There's the medics waiting back here also. So he's going to do that with quite a few of these low health troops. Which I think uh, makes a lot of sense, especially if you're trying to squeeze in like one extra squad to assist you with map control and, and field presence. You might need to be a little bit more conservative with your retreats and healing to try and make up for that. Our machine gun camping out the left hand side. Okay, it looks like it's going to be a super fast tech up. I'm going to be planting that in quite an aggressive position as well. Not just like covering the cutoff. Looking to cover the uh, fuel with that. There's like some brick commanders that could backfire quite badly, but not really against tactical support, so should be decent and you know it does know that it's tactical support bunch of mines coming down to protect this as well which is a fair decision though i think i'll be prioritizing stgs over planting that many mines extra firepower is now available for units and there are the weapon racks it sounds like so we'll start getting those vickers upgrades one of the raid sections at the moment. Doesn't have the uh, flat gun upgrade yet. Going for that now, but sometimes from, from this position, you know, the elevation can somewhat impact the Schwer's uh, flak actually connecting. Stone Pie's just stalling out for the moment. Oh, this could be quite nasty though. A lot of mines they could retreat over there. retreat now. Does survive though. A little bit dicey. Ooh. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. That's nice cool. Machine gun in the building. There's really not much she can do. In this scenario. Need to move yeah, this. It's just kind of ramming your head against the wall here trying to push in to this position with the machine gun back there are two squads behind heavy cover you just enemy have any cover point. poor engagement but there we go the Vickers actually behind suppressing both of these squads this one I'm gonna look for the flank got the air resupply dropped in and that will help things out a lot forces the retreat off both of those but the machine gun can't spin around to face them in the nick of time, but the resupply does give a speed boost. So this double Vickers upgraded raid section, chasing them down here. And this is going to be an easy retreat forced. And now maybe with the mortar, we'll be able to deal with the machine gun inside the building a lot more effectively. But uh, no officer, which we saw from Suora the other day, and officer is a pretty powerful tool for Brits these days. I was about to pop out for Manstein. Let's get to work. More to go into work from long range. And not having much luck in this its first two shells. Finally getting some damage in there. But there's not a huge amount for the gentleman wake to do on this right hand side. You know, you can cap up these points. I can't really push in any further than that thanks to the flak base. We guys can get a bunch of territory on this side as well and maybe look to harass the cutoff over here. So that would be the I'll angle I'll be trying to, trying to take it. approach from. A lot of damage done to the Ovis straight away. He doesn't have the munitions for the LMG upgrade on them yet, so they are quite weak still. Ooh, 
Oh, and now they take a mortar shell. They're even weaker. But all these troops behind cover at the moment, making things quite difficult. So where the mortar can come in handy. You can smoke. Start HE barrage on the sandbags over here, perhaps. Oh, MG on MG action going to be in the buildings. This one's facing the wrong direction. The Vic is much better in the house to house fighting, so in spite of a slight disadvantage in terms of setup time, should still be able to win that. And reposition on the mortar. Each shell's coming down now. And the Molotov out, forcing them out of cover. Didn't need to backpedal with the raid section there though. Kind of allowed them to cycle across to this cover now. Those raid sections are so strong close range with those double vickers. Can go toe to toe with the STG folks or dominate them in fact. The mortar has been getting a reasonable amount of value so far. Breaking up some of the camp. Oh, and this could be a wipe even. Chasing in for a bit of run and gun. Coming around the corner. And there go the stern pies. So here we go, the mortar. Some big shots from it. Even, you know, that shot against the Obus. Dropping them so low was really impactful. Starting to push onto the side. Needs to close the distance here. Can't go toe to toe against the Obus from that range. Trying to soft retreat, but. It's pretty painful with that road right there. Here come the mortar shells. Obus dodging out after the first shell misses. Obus getting a little bit low now, though. This raid section's up to Vet 2, so doing pretty well from this range. Does get any model drops though, so it's a little bit unfortunate. And with that super fast tick, I didn't have to go for weapon racks or anything like that. It's going to be the Manstein getting to the medium tanks before the gentleman wake. Gentleman wake could start producing a tank right now. We do have a mine down in the center. Oh, and I, I thought that would be out of range, but it does trigger just on the edge. So it's really good news. It's going to slow down Panzer for a lot, anti-tank guns there but missing its first shot, Panzer for backing away. But you can't really charge in against STG folks unless you've got those double Vickers. That engagement goes horribly wrong for the gentleman wake. Spinning around with the machine gun, trying to shut down the squads coming in from this angle. A lot of pressure on the anti-tank gun. Might get decrewed here down the road. Weapon crew lost. Our supply line's broken. So the gentleman wake wouldn't have been under so much pressure if just you know stayed at range against those STG squads, waited for a few more to arrive and uh, reinforce that position. As a force, still with the damaged engine. Tank gun coming forwards for that again. Bring a bit of a flank going with the engineers. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Ooh, and the mortar shell's coming down now. And the MG out the back also revealing itself, so that could be quite nice for the There's mortar to target. Head six and sprinting to close the distance. I'll throw out a Molotov. Probably not necessary. That squad was already very close to retreating. Enemy We're looking to try and save point. some munitions for more double Vickers on some of the other squads. Only one squad upgraded so far. Whereas, you know, every other squad from the OKW player is upgraded. So it's meaning the Ray Texans are starting to fall off somewhat. And they do really need to be strong in the air infantry department at this moment since they don't have snares they're a little bit less effective than riflemen would be against tanks because of that but we've got the Cromwell out now and uh, starting the tech up is going to be Anvil the capture point is being overrun. 
gain the anvil tech is a little bit surprising since we don't have the officer the benefits from being able to throw out that artillery and one shot getting through on the Panzer IV there Oh, Vickers setting up on the road. Oh, that could get decrewed. Into tank gun also getting punished right now. You need to make sure you're facing forwards with that Cromwell. Make sure that hull gun is firing. Desperately needs to jump on the anti tank gun again. Couple squads coming in from the sides. Some damage on the Cromwell, but did jump back onto the anti tank gun. gets away a lot of bleed there for the gentleman wake he's still marginally ahead and KD though very risky I wouldn't be attempting this right now this is like prime time for a Rakitten to be sneaking up and going for another shot on this which I looks like it might die to one more hit Pretty much bang on uh, quarter health there. That's still life. Shooting at the uh, building here, rather confusingly. Nothing's inside it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can build mines with these uh, raid sections. So it's a question of what gentleman Wake wants to spend munitions on at this stage. Still got one more squad that needs munitions. Still got the Cromwell that needs the tank commander upgrade. That's probably the number one priority at the moment. Got a couple mines after that be quite nice. Oh, that's a nasty P4 hit. We're losing a capture point. Jumping back into the building. Oh, machine gun extremely low, sitting back up. Wouldn't be doing that. Looking. Yeah, it does end up getting decrewed. The gun is not crewed. Not anymore. Luckily, he manages to jump back on it before the MG34 in the building gets the suppression through. That could have been a full disaster for the gentleman wake. it and now I've got a howitzer coming out the back the gentleman wake to take on in a nice spot starting to vet that up and the Cromwell able to do a, a reasonable amount of damage since there is no raketon ordinarily this thing would be uh, in a little bit more trouble it's going okay at the moment thanks to that and the mortar Nearly vet three now. Been a very steady performer. The enemy cut our supply line. You know, usually Brits don't synergize that well with smoke, since you know infantry sections tend to be better at long range with the Brens. But obviously that's not the case with the raid sections. They're much more like riflemen in their damage profile. So, you know, smoke from the mortar could go a long way. Could be very strong. And now it's the shells coming down close to the center. A lot of units here that could get targeted. Uh oh. It's like a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> so many units here. And the shells are scattering a long way from like. It's all over the show. Ooh, landing flush on the Cromwell that time. I build up a fuel cache out the back. Okay. Ooh, and there goes the mortar. That was well outside of the Houtz's firing arc there. So there goes the MVP Mortar. 
Third section in the center and some trouble. Late retreat. Oh no, he forgets about it altogether and down it goes. Avoidable loss that one. Panzerfall did get very low to the anti tank gun through the center, but not able to finish the job. And now we're going to have a pack 43 close to the center. That's interesting. I feel like it's a little bit too far back to really uh, help that much because the tank can just sit over here outside of the range of it and prevent the OKW troops from capping the center. Probably need to be about 20 range. Closer to the front line to be a little bit more effective. But maybe, you know, the Pack 43 does fire pretty quickly. Maybe it can just pop off two shots before Gentleman Wake has time to react. In which case, it's an easy kill. That's what you really need to do with the Pack 43, just get one kill. It's pretty much done its job at that stage. Although a little bit inactive at this stage. Should be you know, like maybe probing the flanks. It's generally fast enough to outrun OKW Panzer 4. Get away as long as it doesn't take engine damage. Okay, we've got the zeroing artillery coming down. So it needs to be a full retreat for the gentleman wake. Maybe troops could push forwards as well, take out that cache. But yeah, generally uh, I'm not, ooh, not really a fan of building caches in uh, most situations in 1v1. In this case, Gentleman Wake now does have the f roughly the fuel for the crocodile, but for reinforcing, still be a little bit further away in terms of manpower. Looks like it be the third tech truck, so maybe the King Tiger in the works for Manstein. I feel like it's generally pretty effective against the Brits. Uh, I'm not taking a massive backward step. Should be back in here with the Panzer IV. Doing some work at the moment. Maybe with the support of the anti-tank gun. Spinning much too long out the back. And I think waiting for the crocodile to Enemy arrive. To take one of our Could be doing a lot more to avoid losing so much territory control at the moment. But yeah, it's going to be the stall for the croc. Line coming down out the side. But yeah, almost all these troops are close to full health, so they don't need to be back here waiting. Pretty much at full strength already. Maybe if there are two models, you don't really want to send them out. So you could just get one shot by the Panzer IV. But four or five models should be pretty safe. And this is a uh, triple cap now, almost the entire map captured as well. This is going to make things hard to push back out from. Crocodile flare is up. That's a barrage into the base, dodging away with the medics. Let's see what this combination can do. Hopefully get some wipes. time. A little bit late on the retreat with this one. They look likely to go down. And after the overs now as well, this is a powerful combo. A lot of firepower on these OKW troops at the moment. Oh, it goes down to the mine. Ouch. Two squads down there for Manstein. And that's had a really bad time for him. Still ages away in terms of manpower for a tank. So now he's going to be the one on the back foot. Struggling for territory control. And even there is potential maybe for the gentleman wake to just come down here. And kill this truck. If he orchestrates a big push. You have to, you know, bring the sweepers along. Bring the anti-tank gun mortar along. But, you know, with... Just the pack 43 
Would it range? Yeah, I actually it would actually keep it safe. So forget what I'm saying there. And pack 43 would be able to stop the Brit tanks coming in from this angle. Could still siege it down though with the tanks a little bit further back. Machine gun covering an anti-tank gun mortar, just blasting away at the tech truck. But damned enemies trying to take a point from us. We'll give plenty of time for man's time to react to. So far, Pack 43 hasn't fired at all. Could this be the end of the Obers? Depends on this next main gun hit. It's a pretty strong one. And there they go, they dropped their LMG also. Cromwell and Crocodile now going off to the Panzer IV. Got the anti tank gun there as well. Mine goes off on the croc though, that's going to slow it down a lot. But yeah, the Pack 43 just not working out at all. Does get one hit on the crocodile, I think, which is close to death now, but there's nothing to follow this up. And going to put a pause on the croc store. Going to go for the Yak Panzer now instead. Now it's a slamming down at the back. It's the decrew on the mortar. So it's something for Manstein. And uh, Gentleman Wake only with one engineer at the moment, so repairs are going to be quite slow. Doesn't have the heavy engineer upgrade yet either. So we'll probably do with one more engineer at the moment and uh, upgrading them both with the heavy engineer upgrade. Instead going for a second anti-tank gun right now. Maybe expecting the King Tiger. Rebuild on that mine. Sweepers are there though. But yeah, this is just nowhere near enough repairs for two tanks. Even with the heavy upgrades. Six pounder anti-tank gun finished. Heavy upgrades not that strong. Doesn't give that big of a repair bonus these days. But the double anti tank gun should be decent against the Yak Panzer as long as the positioning is strong. Gentleman Wake quite far behind in VPs and can't really effectively cap the third VP. So it's going to be a slow drain on Manstein. Oh, but it looks like he's setting up for a siege on that truck. And it does have the. Pyrotechnics upgrade on the infantry section too, so with that anvil artillery It's very strong at knocking out tech trucks that could be very very powerful That's coming down close to the center now you can see the Pairs on that crocodile are agonizingly slow Stuck to a third health so far And the LMG did get recovered by the stern pioneers Better than falling into the hands of the British, though. Okay, calling in the smoke. Triggering a few of these mines here. A lot of these mines, in fact. And I believe this is maybe a bug, this patch. I have to have sights to throw out that artillery flare. Going to tank guns setting up. Got some attack ground action. No. Looks like they've got a reasonable angle there. Shouldn't connect with the ground too much. Zeroing artillery called in on the double anti tank guns, though. One of them taking a couple flak shots. Cromwell doing a bit of a drive by, but zeroing artillery hammering down now. Yak fans are coming back in. This could be the end of the Cromwell. Here it goes. The zeroing artillery finished it off, in fact. But, speaking of getting finished off, the Schwer also did. Needs to get out of the zeroing artillery with this anti tank gun. Ooh. Okay. Wheeling its way to safety. Looks like the Yak Panzer might have lost sight of it because of the vehicle smoke there. So it's a bit of a lucky break for the gentleman wake, otherwise, maybe he was at risk of getting decrewed. This is what is towards the tail end of the Zero Artillery and it does ramp up pretty hard right at the end stages. 
second howitzer coming in. This is a big mistake. Should definitely be saving this manpower for a king tiger at this stage with the uh, Shreya dead. Second howitzer is just a terrible idea, especially now that one of the anti tank guns is already dead. Uh oh, crocodile. Bouncing shots from the Jagpans, and now the Jagpans are at risk. Oh, and the six pound of snipes it off at max range. Well, how he's going for the base. Not much back there at the moment, though. So it's a bit of bad luck for Manstein. The Jagpans are dying there. It's quite likely for one of those shots. <laughs> Most likely for one of those shots to miss or bounce. Bad luck there. Take attack round action from the pack 43 hoping to scatter along into the crocodile which is uh, possible those double vickers vet 3 shred and fast some more base how to action coming in to the bread basket here but could you imagine if there was like a king tiger about to pop out King Tiger would be out, right? Because of fuel costs on the howitzer. Be able to defend against this so effectively instead. Just getting dominated right now. That was a shocking decision. And now even trying to rebuild the tech truck instead of just going for the King Tiger. Very bad decision. To make break meanwhile going for another Churchill. Still, I would say needs another engineer. Maybe even two more engineers from this stage to keep those Churchills healthy. Especially considering now the engineers are gonna have any veterancy. Gonna have that vet 2 repair speed bonus. Base again. HQ is under attack. Typical enemy trick, isn't it? This is not what you want to be doing, though. You want to like, maybe force a retreat and then start howitzering the base so you know there's a whole bunch of stuff back there. Got these bur blind barrages with no consideration for timing and not very effective. Wow. One extra soldier can be added to infantry that, was a, now. that was a very quick decrew on the machine gun. Now coming back in. Some more anvil artillery into this area. Storm is just getting absolutely roasted. Rebuilding the Obers has rebuilt the tech truck down the bottom. But in the meantime, just losing everything. Forty three is still alive just, but here comes the crocodile. I'm gonna knock that out. The Huns have three hundred points at the moment. There we go, Manstein throws in the towel. So it was a, it was a pretty strong start from Manstein there. It's a uh, slightly better positioning and cover, slightly better early game engagements than the Gentleman Wake. The uh, raid section usage, maybe, uh, you know, the use of cover, when to sprint, what angles to approach. Need a slight tweaking for the gentleman wake to be a little bit more effective. But yeah, in the late game, Manstein making some pretty awful build decisions, allowing the gentleman wake to surge back into the lead. And yeah, loses the tech truck, loses the game. <laughs> it did allow like a complete lockdown for Manstein on this side. And if he was a bit more defensive, if he just went for the King Tiger, I think. Maybe we could have held on to things a lot better, but 
double howitzers. <laughs> oh, this isn't a 4v4. That's, that's not going to fly. You don't have your teammate to come over here and save the day. Rescue you from one of your enemies. So ends up losing the game instead. But yeah, that was a good move from Gentleman Wake making that push over here with the smoke, with the anvil artillery. Out a pretty clean kill on the Shreya. Did lose one of the anti tank guns, but wasn't a huge deal. But yeah, definitely needs more engineers for the repairs. The downtime on these tanks was uh, far too high. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like good game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.